Hi folks, Bob Collins for Diver Supply. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about a subject that most scuba divers don't like talking about, and that's being left at sea. Sometimes when you take a look around YouTube, some of the channels out there have a lot of views. Now, some of those channels tend to focus on uh, the morbidity side of scuba diving, and of course, they have a lot of subscribers, but in essence, most of those views and most of those subscribers are not scuba divers. But I'm not going to get into a necessarily a big debate about that. But what I'm going to talk about is this piece of equipment right here. And this is known as the Nautilus Marine Rescue GPS unit. Now, it's a fairly inexpensive unit. It's very small, what you see here. And it is extremely light. It only weighs about four ounces. And one of the things that's so interesting about this unit, it is totally self-contained. It is waterproof, uh, rated down to a little bit over 400 feet. And of course, most of us are not going to be going there as our normal scuba diving uh, trip uh, and being out on a boat and such. But we do hear about stories of Maybe a scuba diver or a pair of scuba diver buddies might have been left on a dive site and all of a sudden the boat realizes it and they go back to get them. Most of the time it's a great outcome, that sort of thing. Now, I will say this uh, for you new divers and divers that go on boats is that when the boat is doing the briefing and of course when you're signing on to the the boat manifest, make sure that your name is on there correctly. And one of the things that I do is if there are two Bobs listed on the manifest, I have them change my name to Robert or Collins or whatever so that there's not two Bobs. So when they're calling the roll after the dive, there's not a mistake of somebody saying, oh, Bob, and then they call out Bob again, and that same person answers. Little tidbits like that, little hints like that make for safer dives. And if you're on a boat and they're not doing a manifest call after each dive, that's something you should be particularly aware of. The Nautilus Rescue Marine GPS is a totally self-contained unit. It's quite an attractive little piece. It's got some, you know, some simple parts and pieces. It's got a big uh, kind of a clear cover here and it's got an orange case. It utilizes two CR123 batteries, which are pretty much available, you know, virtually everywhere out there from Walgreens to Ace Hardware to whatever it happens to be. And they say that you could put these in and not have to worry about it for about five years. My suggestion would be change it once a year. These are not very expensive. So we've got our cover. We've got the body that holds the two batteries. And like I said, it's kind of translucent. Now, I'm not gonna put the batteries in here cause I'm gonna be messing with the buttons here in a second. But you could see the batteries in here being that that case is translucent, especially on this side. On the back, it's not so translucent. So we've got the cover, we've got the little body of the, of the uh, GPS unit. Uh, and we've got this latch. Now, the latch on the side is pretty darn strong, and this stainless steel is 316 stainless, and I'm gonna close this so that you can hear how tight, and like I said, this thing is rated waterproof uh, to below 400 feet. 
other little parts and pieces, if you look right down here, there's a little built-in connection point. And what I would probably do, and I have the older version of this, and what I did is I took a split ring and attached a split ring there, and then I put a snap clip on there that makes it pretty easy. And I just use one of these little bitty ones. They're like six bucks or something. And a stainless steel split ring, put it on there. And then I can connect this to my BC wherever I want. Now, it will float, and so it's not negatively buoyant. The way this works is pretty simple. Lift up, pop the top loose, open it up, and on here, what we've got is there's a blue button right here that you can see in this close-up. There's a yellow button that's exposed right here. That's your test button. So the blue button is the own button. The yellow button is the test button. And then there's this cover on here. And the cover's on there so you don't accidentally push the red button. And on this side, there's a finger loophole that you put your finger in and you can pull the cover off. And then you would push the red button for five seconds and it will send out the ALS signal to, and most uh, ships and yachts and such out there um, have the ALS system. And this unit will send a signal out for approximately 34 miles. And uh, that's pretty darn strong. Uh, the ALS system, I believe they say it is uh, a one amp uh, transmitter in here, and it will send out a half watt signal. One of the other things is if you happen to leave this um, in your boat um, glove compartment or your car or whatever, the temperature range on this is minus 13 degrees Fahrenheit, and the maximum is about 130 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's pretty darn sturdy. And um, to change the batteries is pretty simple. I'm kind of going back on the battery thing I was talking about before. Right here on top, there's a Phillips screw here and a Phillips screw here. And in the box, you get a little Phillips screwdriver that will fit that and that makes it easy to take it off. Double check the little O-ring anytime you change your battery. But rated and suggested at five years is pretty, pretty long. And like I said, I've got the, the older version of this, and the older version is about 50% larger than this. So this one being nice and small and compact and light really makes it super easy for you to attach on your BC. At the price point, this is, and I'm going to put a link down below so you can easily find this. And I'm also going to be talking in one of the next videos I do about another manufacturer that makes a unit that incorporates many of these features. That particular unit has to have a dive case added to it. So you've got a little bit of a double expense on it, whereas this unit is extremely affordable. There's no base unit required or no connection point required. It's a standalone unit. When these things are made, they receive their own specific identifier for the ALS system and such. So what could be simpler than to carry this? If you needed it, pop it open. Push the blue button, turn it on, pull the little cover off, hold the red button for five seconds, and the range, the identification range on this is within five feet. So that's a short video about something many times we don't like to think about. Thanks for watching and dive safe out there.